So here at the MHL booth, uh, who are you? My name is uh, David Kroll, I'm the Senior Director of Product Marketing. And uh, you're basically running the laptop from the phone? Uh, yes, so this is um, what uh, we worked on with MediaTek, um, and this product, uh, they call it a smart book. And what it is, is a, um, it's actually an accessory to the smartphone. Uh, this product looks like a laptop, uh, except that this is really a clamshell. Um, it does not have any CPU, no memory, no graphics. Um, it has a display keypad and a battery and an MHL input. So all the graphics are generated uh, by the smartphone. Uh, in the by the MediaTek uh, MT6592 application processor. Right, so essentially, you have a smart book that can be used like a laptop, but all the brains, the computing power, the memory, the graphics come from this smartphone. So it's an octa-core phone right here? This is a, a octa-core processor from, uh, this is a phone reference from MediaTek. Okay, and okay. it is an octa-core application processor. Um, that is doing all the computing uh, uh, for this particular application. So what kind of uh, optimization are they doing? Are they doing UI and, and Android uh, customization and sure, stuff like that? Sure, very good question. What I could do for you is I'll demonstrate that for you right now, right? So um, the best way to look at it is let me just connect the phone first and I'll show you okay. how the uh, system works. If you just connect this cable right now, the phone actually go to a standard uh, Android uh, desktop Okay, just like you expect on a smartphone. It's totally normal Android right here. Normal Android right there, yep. Okay. And then you connect? So when I connect, what happens is that Android desktop UI gets uh, turned off and it switches to a different UI that is more representative um, to a, um, a normal PC user interface. So that's one of the optimization that MediaTek has uh, worked on. Okay. And in this case, if you look at this, is actually a prototype from Acer called the Extend. Okay, um, so we worked with uh, MediaTek Silicon Image Worker Acer to enhance the uh, feature sets and the application around the smartphone. Okay, uh, but now you are now extending the phone functionality to a fully functional laptop PC. And it's uh, not heavy. It's compact. It's uh... it's compact. It's very much like an ultrabook. Um, uh, and uh, some of the feature enhancement I'll demonstrate for you right now is they did optimize software, so the user interface is optimized for a PC application. Um, other things that they want to highlight is um, uh, a G player. Let me see. I accept. It's like okay. multimedia. It's multimedia. Let's see here. Uh, what you could do is um, play multiple video files at the same time. Okay, and what you could do is move the screen, move the windows around, just like you would do in a normal PC. They also added some hotkeys, okay. You can use hotkeys to control the volume directly uh, from uh, controlling the volume from the smartphone itself. Um, one of the things that they also did is this Alt Tab, right, that allows you to swap to a different application that's running in the background. Okay, so you can open up uh, Kingsoft, which is a productivity software. Okay, um, and then you go home, and uh, it goes back to the home screen again, and you have multiple applications all running at the same time. So it's very much different than a standard Android desktop on the phone, uh, but it looks more and more like a PC. It feels like a PC now. So this is where Android is going. Uh, I'm guessing uh, Android is going to go towards. Uh, more productivity and potentially desktop, laptop, and this is so, this is great to use MHL to power from the phone. Sure, I, I can't comment for Android, but yeah. certainly the um, the smartphone manufacturers wants to increase what they could do uh, with a smartphone. Look, it's octa-core processor, right? Um, you know, surfing the web doesn't require octa-core processors, so there's uh, motivations to increase the functionality around a smartphone. One of the things is make the phone feel more like a PC, and this is an accessory to be able to expand what you could do with the phone itself. The phone cannot be a, a, a laptop, for example. Um, the goal really is for, uh, for this application to sell the phone and the laptop accessory together, bundled for $299 US. Right. What do you say? The phone, phone, and the laptop, and the laptop for two ninety nine. That's the goal with the contract, maybe. 
Off contract. Off contract. Off contract. That's so, the goal. Whether we hit it or not, at least we have a very aggressive goal. That sounds absolutely awesome. And here it is even like USB? Oh, well, no. Keep in mind, this is a clam shot. It's a prototype. They took an existing industrial design from a, um, uh, from a netbook. So they did not cover that up. So these USBs doesn't work. But potentially you could have USB with the MHL3, right? Absolutely. You have enough bandwidth. Exactly. And I'll show you how that will work later on. But today, that's not enabled. You're getting yeah. keyboard, touchpad, and the video itself. So they could be a bunch of USBs to do extra things Absolutely. if you want. Absolutely. And, uh, and that's what MHL3 will actually provide for you. That's the next step, right? Today, it's keyboard, touchpad, really HID devices. Uh, tomorrow, we will add you know, storage back into back into the same functionality. And this is great for chip makers and for device makers, like phone makers, because people might keep the same cool design for, for a laptop, but they exactly. will upgrade the phone they every year. They will upgrade the phone since MHL is a standard, right? They can always continue to move and change the phone capability and upgrade the phone, but the laptop accessory will always work. Right, so they basically buy accessory and they keep the accessory. You don't need to buy laptops every two years now. You do upgrade your phone, which you do anyway, uh, but you will get the same functionality uh, of a PC and improve on the experience when you improve and upgrade your smartphone. So what I would like to see, uh, what I would like to see is uh, when you connect the phone. Maybe there's a Chrome OS here. And you see, you have Chrome OS here, Android there. That'd be that'd be cool. But that's up to software. We'll see what that's happens. The, up to the software, and not just that, right? If you want a Chrome OS running here, that really means that you have to have a set of application processor, memory, graphics into this device as well. But it would be nice to run that off there. Oh, possibly, right? And just like have dual OS kind dual of. Dual OS, yes, possibly that you could do that, yeah. right? So what are you showing here? Okay, uh, what I'm showing here is additional products um, that supports MHL. MHL originally was developed to connect phone to DTVs and part of the features on the DTV side is that MHL TVs are required to output power to charge a mobile battery. But what we found out is that those power MHL ports on the DTV are now being turned into an accessory port, okay, that can power many different devices, okay. And those devices are, examples are these uh, smart sticks, okay. Uh, this device, the Roku streaming stick, okay. It's been selling for a year or more. For a year and a half now. And after Roku was introduced, um, Dell came out with a product called the Wise Cloud Connect, okay. So instead of providing entertainment services, the Cloud Connect from Dell is actually a uh, ultra thin PC client on a stick. So they sell this device for $129. You connect that to a uh, PC monitor or TV. Essentially, you're getting an Android PC on a stick for $129. And what Dell would do is they'll provide you cloud services. So it's a great way to um, uh, monetize their cloud services and replacing a PC with a little stick. Itself. And it's powered through MHL. It's powered through MHL. Right? So you connect this to an MHL port. Okay, the MHL port on a TV or monitor power the device, providing all kinds of applications now through this little stick. And what you do is you connect a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to this stick, right? Is the stick in connected there now? It is sticks connected now. If you want to see what that is, you can go around this back. If you see, there's a little stick right there. All right. Just connect your mobile device. You see the blue? Yeah. Okay. Um, so now you can effectively uh, have a ultra thin PC client. Uh, running on Android, and you can put them uh, in many a different application you would from a um, Android desktop PC. You have access to the internet, um, just like we would with a PC. Um, have the vision to create what is called the Look at your photos, gallery like before. They're all from a keyboard uh, and a mouse connected to an NHL right. port via the stick. And half a billion of so that's also cool because perhaps every year you could upgrade your stick hardware. Yes. It's not and very expensive. It's not very expensive at all. And as technology improves, you buy one single TV that with MHL port and um, you can buy this stick and continue to upgrade to newer capability, newer services uh, for very little ex uh, expense uh, around the MHL technology on a stick. And you don't need to mess around with extra cables for powering Not all Not at stuff. all. So this, if you look at this as a connector here that outputs MHL, it connects directly into a DTV um, port with MHL support on there.